me know who's in the house. I'm in the house, I mean on the streets, but anyway. Um, our next speaker is Lorraine Douglas, who's a housing activist from South East London People's Assembly. Make some noise! Thanks very much. I don't think there's anyone here who would deny that Britain's housing market is broken. And I think most of us know that it was Margaret Thatcher that broke it when she introduced the right to buy. Since 1982, over two million council homes have been sold under the right to buy. And since that time, nearly 40% of them have found their way into the ownership of private landlords which, and charging more than three times the rent on average that would be being charged in councils. So we know that there is a crisis. We, we absolutely know there is. We've seen since 2010 when Cameron got elected, homelessness more than double. We've seen an epidemic of rough sleeping on the streets, particularly in London, where that had been virtually wiped out under the last Labour government. And I do have some issues with the way that they dealt with homelessness as somebody who used to work in the sector. We know now that developers and landowners are the people who are dictating where housing gets built, what type of housing gets built, and how much it's going to go for. Local authorities, local communities have next to no say in what gets built, where and when. We know that affordable housing is not affordable. We know that there is next to no social housing at council rents being built anymore in the country. Very, very few. We know, we know now that we have a whole generation of people who are being locked out of affordable homes. We know that the number of homeowners in this country under a government that says it wants a homeowning democracy, home ownership is actually falling because people can't afford to buy. We know that people are locked into private rented homes at ridiculous levels of rent, ridiculous levels of rent, and we know that they can't afford to continue to pay those levels of rent, which are now going up 10, 20% on average uh, as, as landlords are see, seeing their mortgages starting to go up. So what I would urge comrades and friends uh, is that everybody tries to get involved in local housing campaigns, whether that be your local renters union, whether it be ACORN, whether it be community groups organising to defend their neighbours from eviction as private landlords try to make far more money. Most of all, we need to be campaigning for a mass programme of council house building. That is the way that we get over a housing crisis in this country. They did it before. The highest rates of home have house building were happening when the highest rates of council house building were happening. The private sector keeps up and it don't charge ridiculous money when the demand can be met. So please, comrades, please get involved. Get involved in your local areas. Campaign. Stop the sell-off of council land for private developers and force councils to insist that all building that takes place will deliver council homes at council rents that are going to be affordable for our, for our children and our grandchildren to come. And most of all, stop the privatisation. Scotland and Wales have ended the right to buy. It's long past the time that England followed suit. So this is, this is the campaign of the century, in my opinion, and please, everybody, do try and get involved. Thanks very much. Thank you, Lorraine. Now, I know you're all itching to march. We only have a couple more speakers before we'll get going. And you can't see it, but embankment is shut down. So say it with me, shut down the